What's going on guys, it is Michael. Welcome back to a new recipe video. And what we're gonna do in this one is kind of revamp a recipe that I did a few years ago on this channel in 2012 for some high protein waffles. The great thing about this recipe, is there are so many different things that you can do. You could top it off with different kinds of fruit, peanut butter, almond butter, different syrups, just fit it into your macros and get creative because if you've got a wide variety of things that you can eat in your diet, you're not restricting yourself, it's gonna be easier to reach your goals every single day. So enough of me talking, let's go ahead and get started. So I've got all the ingredients right here on the counter ready to go and you can use a blender or a food processor to blend this up and you will need a waffle maker. Sorry to disappoint you if you thought you could make waffles. Without a waffle maker it would be cool but let's start with this right here. A half a cup of regular oats. And then we'll add in a half a cup of liquid egg whites. You can use this or just crack it from the egg. Honestly, it's just cheaper to just use whole eggs than to buy this individually. This is just a little more convenient. Then we'll go with one scoop of whey protein powder. I'm gonna use vanilla. You could use chocolate if you wanted. One tablespoon of sweetener. A pinch of salt. A pinch of baking powder. If you like cinnamon, feel free to add it in. I'm a fan, so obviously I'm gonna add it today. And I saved this ingredient for last because it may sound gross and kind of a turn off to some people. This is a half a cup of low fat cottage cheese. I promise you can't taste it at all. If you have some kind of hatred for cottage cheese, which I don't know how you could, I think it's pretty good, but to each their own, you could use a half a cup of a yogurt. It would probably work the exact same, but I'm gonna use a half a cup of cottage cheese today. And now we'll blend up our batter. Now that we've got our waffle batter blended up right here in the blender, blended up really well. The Ninja Blender is just personally my favorite blender I've ever used. I've got the waffle maker heating up, and one important step, you don't want to forget this, is make sure you use some nonstick cooking spray on your waffle maker, or else the waffles will stick and they won't really look like waffles by the time you're done cooking them. But one thing that I've learned throughout the years is when you're doing this, you don't want to fill up each square all the way because then it will kind of run over the side and make a big mess. So that's just something to keep in mind. I usually fill mine up around halfway and then the waffle will kind of expand since there's egg whites in it. If you've ever cooked with egg whites, you know that they expand when you cook them. So that looks about good. Hopefully it doesn't run over to the side. And what I'll do from here is close the lid just like I said, and I'll see you guys when these are done. And a few minutes later, I just took these bad boys right out of the waffle maker. They look delicious, but what are some waffles without delicious toppings? So a few suggestions, maybe a light reduced calorie syrup right here, or maybe a fat-free whipped cream, or I know some people really like this Walden Farms calorie-free chocolate syrup. They make caramel syrup, and they also make just regular pancake syrups, all calorie free, as well as barbecue sauce, but that really probably wouldn't taste that great on a waffle. And of course, another thing that you could use are some fresh cut strawberries, blueberries, bananas, and really whatever you would like. Today, I think I'm gonna go with the strawberries and some chocolate syrup, and then a little bit of whipped cream on top of them. And here is an example of what the recipe can look like when you are finished making it. The whipped cream that I added on the top is kind of starting to melt because the waffles are hot, but it's still gonna taste delicious. I hope it looks good to you. It's a great breakfast, so be sure to try this one out. And that's it for this recipe video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, feel free to give it a like. And before I let you go, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to audible.com. They are fans of the channel, and if you don't know what it is, I've talked about them here on the channel in the past. It's basically a site where you can download over 150,000 audiobooks straight to your Mac or your PC. I've used it myself when I don't necessarily have enough time to sit down on the couch to read a book. I'll just download one right to my cell phone and listen to it on the way to class. It's the summer right now, so I haven't had to do that in a while. Or just when I'm running errands throughout town. And they're giving away a free audiobook to all of my viewers. All you have to do is check out audible.com slash MKF. There's the link on the screen, or it is the first one down below in the description. Just click it, and you can check it out. And if you stuck around to the very end of the video, feel free to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, or check out my cookbook. All the links are down below in the description. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you next video.